What up everybody, this is Alex D, the founder of Alex D Music Inside channel and also the author of the book The Love English. And if you are watching this till the 13th second of video on YouTube, papim, you'll be able to watch to the end of this video. I'm here today to help you get to understand about one of the most famous songs and also the saddest song about love between boys and girls. That is the song 25 Minutes, sung by Michael Lawrence The Rock. Okay, so you already learned one, uh, one of my lessons before uh, about the song Take Me To Your Heart, Michael Lawrence The Rock here. Okay, if you want to check that out, check here. Um, and let's move on to this lesson today. I will divide this lesson into four main stages, no, sorry, five main stages. Number one, that is the decision making. Number two, that is the reality. Number three, that is the apology. Number four, that is the attempt. And the last one, that is the love hunger. So let's get into the first one. I will sing that first. So let's go. After some time, I finally made up my mind. She is a girl, and I really want to make her mine. I'm searching everywhere to find her. Sorry about the things I've done. The first one, the decision making. This man is trying to make himself, make up himself, his mind to get to the girl he loves after a long, long time of absence. Okay, so let's see. In this, the first stage here, we have uh, after some time, I finally made up my mind. So there is one, the perfect present perfect tense here. I've made up my mind. I have made up my mind. It will show it will emphasis on the duration of time. So this is a you know the only place that I can see the beauty of the grammar here. So there's no other places I can see the beauty the beauty of grammar here. So you know and let's see he say uh, she is the girl. So when what does he mean when is he says she is the girl. She is the girl. So there is the, the article when they say that's something that you already know. So when he says she is the girl, it means she is the one. She is the love that he wants for his own life. That's all he wants is her. Okay? So she is the girl that I really want to and I really want to make her mine. So when you say something like he wants to make her mine, it means he wants to become her boyfriend, maybe her husband, they will live forever happily after that, okay? And uh, after he makes the, makes the decision to get to, to her after a long time of uh, separate, separation, so he says, I'm searching everywhere to find her again, okay? So he's trying to find her, to tell her I love her, and also to sorry about the things I've done. So again, he says, things I have done. So the present perfect tense here, it will show the duration of time and what a lot of things he has done to this girl, towards this girl. So he's trying to, you know, uh, get to this girl and to correct all the mistakes that he made before. So that's all about the meaning of the first part, quite easy. So let's get to the pronunciation. So let's see here, we have some uh, pronunciation number one. After some time, I finally made up my mind. There's one link in sound between made and up here. That is made up my mind, okay? I finally made up my mind, okay? So number one, I finally made up my mind. One, two, three, repeat after me. One, two, three, go. I finally made up my mind. Very good. So sometimes mind here, we have the ending, so mind. Mind, okay, so made up my mind, make decision. Number two, that is, she is a girl, okay, and I really want to make her mine, okay. So here, Lincoln sub between and and I, we say and I, okay. So we have, uh, repeat after me, and I, one, two, three, go, and I, okay, really, really with R sound, round mouth sound, really, okay, repeat after me, one, two, three, go, really, all right, good, I, and I really want to make her mind. 
her here with the H quite weak. So sometimes we say make her. We link it out. There is no H here. So we say make her. Okay, make her here, make her. Okay, so repeat after me. And I really want to make her mine. One, two, three, go. And I really want to make her mine. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so let's, all right, let's move on to the next one, okay? I'm searching everywhere to find her again, okay? So to find her again. So her with the R sound, the typical sound in American accents. So if you want to be like a native American speaker, so try to speak this sound with a curved tongue. So we say her, ra, ra, her again. Okay, linking sound here, all right, let's go. Uh, link them together. Find her again. One, two, three, go. Find her again. Again. Find her again. Forget to tell her I love her. This is a complex sentence. Uh, you gotta notice this. Okay. To tell her. Okay, H, I told you. H quite, you know, low. So we say, tell her. Okay, tell her I love her. Okay, love her. H, H quite weak. So we, maybe we delete them when they say. Okay, so we, tell her I love her. One, two, three, go. To tell her I love her. Very good. And the last one. And I really and I'm sorry about the things I've done. Okay? So end on. The same like uh, the, the previous part. So end I and end I'm. Okay? So end on, end on. The so consonant and vowel go together. Just link them together. End on. Okay? Repeat after me. End on. Very good. And, and I'm sorry about. So you see, this is a shorter way to say about. Okay, you can say about or about. It's the same. Okay. And I'm sorry about the things I've done. Okay, things with the N S here. When it say, you know, um, S here, we don't say that things. No S ending, we say things. Because S, when we go with a consonant, uh, vibration here with your in your uh, throat so s turns into z okay so we say things okay that's why we link things i've done we say things i've done things i've done okay so repeat after me things i've done go things i've done okay and the whole sentence and i'm sorry about the things i've done go and i'm sorry about the things i've done so that's all about the first part. Let's move on to the second part. Let's go here. After some time I finally made up my mind She is a girl And I really want to make her mine I'm searching The reality is that he finds her standing in front of the church. Okay, so what is she doing in front of the church here? Maybe she's a believer. She wants to go to the church to uh, pray and to show respect to the God. Maybe, okay. And he says, the only place in town where I didn't search. Okay, so he went to a lot of places in the town where they met before but they hang out before, hang out before, but uh, now he couldn't find her in the other places that were familiar to them. He only find her in uh, this place in front of the church. So what happens here in the church? He says, she looks so happy in a wedding dress. Okay, so she is wearing a wed wedding dress 
it means she's about to get married. But he doesn't know that. It means she's getting married to, with somebody else, not him. Okay? And, but she's crying while she's saying this. Okay, so this girl, she's crying because he, she couldn't get married with the man that she loves maybe and because they live far away for a while so right now he's standing here and she's wearing a wedding dress with another one so that's why she's crying and she's saying something but that is the next part okay and this part that's all about the meaning and uh, I'll explain all about the pronunciation of this part quite easy there is just some uh, notices here number one find her okay so reality the first okay I find her okay so I told you H is quite you know weak uh, consonants so that's why someone uh, uh, sometimes when you say it fast so find here it links with her uh, you can say that find her find her okay I find her standing in front of the church so in front uh, you can say in front when it goes alone but when it goes with front of here uh, T seems to be silent why to say it fast? If you hear the song, he says, in front of, in front of, in front of, mm, and O here, the link together. We say, in front of the church. Okay, so repeat after me. I find her standing in front of the church. Go. I find her standing in front of the church. Okay. The only place in town. Okay. So, the only. So, when the. Uh, goes before you know a vowel like O here okay so the turns into the okay so that's why we say the only the only the only okay so the only linking sound together do you know the difference between uh, Vietnamese accents with American accents it is Vietnamese accents it's kind of a singular accent you say one two three four five then to la ba 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 okay but American the only they link together so that's advisable for you to link this together the only repeat after me Re the only okay very good place in town okay the only place in town place here with the ending s okay place and link with in here we say place in town okay so repeat the whole sentence with me one two three go the only place in town go the only place in town all right, so let's move on to the next one. Where I didn't search. Okay, so where with the R sound. I told you the R sound is one of the most typical sound of American accents. Where with uh, the curved tongue here. So that's why they link where and I together. We say where I, where I. Okay, so repeat after me. Where I didn't search. And any sound search here. Okay, one, two, three. Where I didn't search. Okay, one, two, three, go. Where I didn't search. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, and it said, I find her standing in front. Oh, sorry, she looks so happy in her wedding dress. So her here, H is quite weak. So in her, inner, inner. Okay, so. In a wedding dress, repeat, go. In a wedding dress, very good. So that's all about the meaning and pronunciation of the second part, the reality. Let's move on to the third part here, okay? Ready for that? Our father standing in front of the church The only place in town where I didn't serve so happy in a wedding dress But she's crying while she's saying this Boy, I've missed your kisses all the time But this is 25 minutes too late Those you travel so far, boy, I'm sorry Welcome to the third part, uh, the third stage that is the apology. So, you know, the girl, she broke her promises about, you know, the commitment with the guy. 
So that's why she is saying sorry to this guy. Okay, so that is the third part, apology. So she says, boy, I've missed your kisses all the time, but this is 25 minutes too late. Okay, so she says that I've missed your kisses. Okay, so she says it means, you know, because he was living far away from her, so she missed all the kisses from him. So she missed him a lot and, uh, you know, but this is 25 minutes too late. So do you know why they say 25 minutes too late? Because in the Western culture, before the wedding, you have 25 minutes. You know, the wedding only lasts for about 25 minutes. So if there is someone who wants to, you know, break into and uh, to uh, say something like to take the bride away, so that is the bride away. So that's the time of the wedding is over. Okay, so in, if he still wants to get her back, he still wants to win her back, so he has only 25 minutes to get her. But when he gets there, that was over 25 minutes, and she was standing there in front of the church, and everything is over. Even she misses him a lot, but this time has come, and everything is over, okay? And she says, though you travel so far, and boy, I'm sorry you are, 25 minutes too late, okay? Because you travel so far for your own interest, maybe to live far away to find, you know, to explore the new wonders of the world and to forget her. And right now, you know? So love is forever, but the lover may not stay there for you if you, you know, let them uh, live far away from you for a long time. Okay, so that's all about the meaning of the third stage. And let's move on about, you know, uh, to the pronunciation. And there are just two notices about the pronunciation here. Number one, boy, I've missed your kisses. Okay, so kiss, when you say it, uh, you know, uh, kiss with uh, a lot of, you know, the plural uh, noun of kiss, we say kisses, okay? Kisses, kisses. Boy, I've missed your kisses all the time, but this is. So linking sound between this and is here. Okay, we say this is. So repeat after me, this is, this is. Okay, all the time, but this is. 25 minutes too late. Though you travel so far, boy, I'm sorry you are. So boy with any sound, oi, oi, ye. And it links with I'm before that, after that. So we say boy, I'm, okay. Boy, I'm sorry you are. Here, boy, I'm sorry you are. You can see that? One, two, three, go. Boy, I'm sorry you are. Okay, boy, I'm sorry you are. Go. Boy, I'm sorry you are. 25 minutes too late. So that's all about the meaning and pronunciation of the third stage. Let's move on to the fourth stage. Against the wind, I'm going home again. Pushing me back to the time when we were more than friends. You know, the first stage. So this man is trying to get this girl back and when he is there, she is getting married with someone else. So he's trying to say something to this girl that uh, maybe somehow he can win her back and he says, um, against the winds, I'm going home again, wishing me back when we were more than friends. Okay, so he says he's wishing to time to come back to the old days when they were together. And he's asking the girl that, uh, you know, I tried so hard to get back here to get to you, but why you're getting married to someone else here? Okay, so the meaning very easy for this part against the winds, I'm going home again. And let's move on to pronunciation here. There's just one notice about this pronunciation. Uh, we say this is home again. Okay, we say home with the ending sound. Mm. So we say home. Okay, and link with again here. We say home again. Okay, so repeat after me. I'm going home again. One, two, three, go. I'm going home again. Very good. And uh, the last part, that is the stage number five. Let's move on to stage number five. I will sing that third 
and you will go to get to understand about the meaning and pronunciation. Ready for that? Let's go. Out in the street, places where high we have nothing to eat. Inside my head, still I can hear the words she said. And welcome to stage number five and also the last stage here, the love hunger. So after this man, he couldn't get her back, he couldn't win her back. So he goes out and try to scream and to, you know, like shout out with the words, you know, out in the streets, places where hungry hearts have nothing to eat. So he says hungry hearts, you hear that? The hungry hearts uh, are the hearts that is, you know, thirsty for love and uh, this heart, I mean his heart is designed uh, for the love that he couldn't have and uh, you know kind of a wild heart maybe, okay? And he says inside my head still I can hear, still can hear the words she said. So it means that he cannot easily forget her, all of, you know. The memories of those days in the past, uh, you know, once in the blue moon between two people here. So that's all about the meaning of this part, quite, you know, sad maybe somehow. But uh, let's move on to the pronunciation, okay? The love hunger. Number one, we say outing, the streets, places, okay? So out, in. So out, ending sound T, when you say it fast, it links with in. We say out, in. Okay, so T turns into D. Okay, so repeat after me. Out in. One, two, three, go. Out in. Okay. Out in the streets, places. So place, when you, you know, it turns into a plural noun, we say places, is, and it's out here. Places. Okay, so re repeat after me. Places. Okay. Out in the streets, places. Okay, one, two, three, go. Out in the streets, Places, all right, and the next one that is uh, still I can hear. Okay, out in the street, places where hungry hearts have nothing to eat. Inside my head, still I can hear the words she says. Okay, so still, and it's our L, linked with I here, links with I here, so we say still I can hear. Okay. Very good. So still I can hear the words she said. Very good. So that's all about the meaning and pronunciation of this song. So I will sing the whole, you know, five parts here, and you can watch, listen, and try to sing along with me again. One more time. So ready for that? Let's go. After some time, I fall in. Searching everywhere to find her again, to tell her I love her, and I'm sorry about the things I've done. I found her standing in front of the church. The only place in town where I didn't search She looks so happy in a wedding dress But she's crying while she's saying this Boy, I've missed your kisses all the time But this is 25 minutes too late So far, boy, I'm sorry you are 25 minutes too late Against the wind I'm going home again Wishing me back To the 
time when we were more than friends Out in the streets Places where hung we had said nothing to eat Inside my head Still I can hear the words she said Thanks you guys for watching. That's all the things you need to master this song. Pronunciation, meaning, and you can sing along with me. In the last part here, I've just sang that. Okay? So, you know, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button here. Subscribe to my channel to see what video I'm gonna upload new here in uh, this channel. And check out the other songs that I made here. If you're interested in. Okay, so for the song that you may want me to make in next video in next week leave the comment down below here okay let me know that one song you are interested in and thanks you guys for watching i'll see you next time next week in this channel bye bye for now